I first arrived at reception, it was uh, scarier than I anticipated. And uh, I was very disoriented and tired, especially the first 48 hours. I didn't sleep at all the first night. And I wondered if I was going to be able to make it through, especially during that first day. We really didn't know exactly what to do. A lot of us, some people were scared and some were just, they, they just felt left out because they didn't know exactly where they were at. The drill sergeants came up to us and they started yelling at us and telling us to hurry up and grab our stuff and get in the formation. I didn't know what a formation was in the first place. And I was nervous, I was scared. I, I wanted to call my mom and tell her how I felt. I needed some comfort. For many new soldiers, arriving at reception station can be an overwhelming experience. Often, soldiers are fatigued from a long trip and begin in-processing with some sense of disorientation. In-processing consists of a series of fast-paced activities designed to introduce new soldiers to the Army. Most newly arriving soldiers describe some occasional feelings of nervousness or awkwardness. These feelings are natural and have been shared by all soldiers at one time or another. When they first get to reception, they tend to look a little uh, scared. They're very unsure, and they do not know what to expect from basic training, from the drill sergeants, and from each other. They're, they're brand new. They're still civilians. A lot of them are overweight. They're, uh, they're not used to doing any physical activity. They're not sure who they can talk to, who they can kind of trust, who can they depend on. They're away from family and friends for the very first time, so they're very weary about coming into a new environment. While some soldiers will eventually become enthusiastic and energized about their training, for some, the anticipation of this training can produce a sense of doubt and worry. Left unchecked, the worry soldiers experience can develop into a stress response that includes feeling anxious, sad, or fearful, as well as physical problems, such as an upset stomach, headache, tightness in the chest, muscle tension, or restlessness. These unpleasant sensations can lead some soldiers to question their motivation and doubt their abilities. I was thinking in my head, well, why am I here? You know, what am I doing here? What, am I, what did I get myself into? You know, as guys, we size everything up when we come in. So when I first got to reception, I'm sizing everybody up going, oh man, I'm the smallest guy here. I think I kind of assumed that everyone else was more prepared than I was and that no one was as nervous as I was. I think it took me a couple weeks uh, to realize that my battle buddies were feeling the same things I was and uh, that I wasn't in it alone. And now when I think about the challenges I still have to face in basic, one thing that comforts me is that my battle buddies are going to go through it too and that I, I know we can all make it through together. The effects of stress are normal. There are some immediate things all soldiers can do to manage the effects of stress and stay mentally tough. Soldiers should recognize that a moderate amount of stress can actually help improve performance. The human body is designed to take advantage of the extra energy produced when nervous. This extra energy helps soldiers to rise to a challenge and overcome difficult obstacles. In the operational environment, this energy boost gives soldiers the ability and confidence to do extraordinary things, sometimes even beyond what they thought was possible. The most challenging thing I've been asked to do run two miles within a, a time frame. I don't think I've ever ran two miles on purpose in my life. I was uh, seriously questioning if I was going <clears> to <throat> be able to make it both up and down the repelling wall. Uh, the ladder going up scared me more than the repelling going down. And uh, I prayed probably on every step and I got to the top and then I prayed more when I was about to go down and I made it down just fine and once my feet were on the ground I realized that, that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The most helpful thing to get through moments of self-doubt has been uh, my battle buddies. I mean, just being able to, 10, 15 minutes you get laying in the bunk before it's lights out. And being able to hear how everybody's stressed and how they, what they're going through, it kind of relieves that weight off your shoulders, you know, kind of laugh and joke for a couple minutes and get away, but still keep it in perspective that we have a job and a task that we need to get done. Uh, what really got me through was my family back home. Uh, just uh, thinking that, you know, I did this uh, voluntarily and uh, my family and friends would be happy uh, as soon as I got back. I realized that I had, I had joined because I wanted to and that I was there for one purpose only, that purpose was training. With or without making friends when I left, I was gonna train and I was gonna be in the Army because it's what I wanted to do. It was my decision. The confident and professional drill sergeants who train new soldiers were themselves once new soldiers and understand how intimidating and confusing basic training can seem. 
This is why they are dedicated to making every soldier's training a rigorous yet rewarding experience. A lot of soldiers come here not sure who they are, don't understand that it's not about the uniform, it's about the person, and you tend to make the uniform. We try to get them to realize you're doing something great for yourself, for your family, and for your country, so there's nothing to be afraid of. We're here to support you and to give you all the training you need to be one of America's greatest soldiers. It's our job not to belittle or demoralize them, but to get them to the point where they can kick down a building, they can grab their M16, they can secure their battle buddy, perform first aid. It's going to be challenging, it's going to be hard, it's going to have, they're going to have stress, but they can do it. They can do it. They put their mind to it and they'll test their physical fitness, put their physical fitness to the test. They'll see that they can overcome any obstacle within BCT. The day I graduated was the best moment because I stood there, I looked around at the position of attention, even though it wasn't supposed to, and I realized that everybody's family's here. We're gonna get to go home. I'm gonna get to see my dad, and he's gonna be proud of me of what I've done. If you look back the first day that you arrived, you were confused and your head was down. You really didn't know what to do. You wondered, why did I join? But then that last day of graduation, you hear the Army song playing. You're very uh, confident. You know that I made it to the end. It's graduation. And uh, people look at you in a different way. Instead of, uh, oh, that was, you know, so-and-so right there. But now they see you, and that, that is a soldier right there. Remember that no soldier is alone. And all good soldiers ask for help when they feel it's needed. While at reception and during training, every soldier has a support team ready to offer help. This support team includes drill sergeants, cadre, commanders, and unit chaplains. They are dedicated to caring for today's soldiers and tomorrow's leaders and willing to do whatever it takes to make their training a success.